In an effort to stay anabolic and put on ample muscle in only one week, I decided to try one of the oldest tricks in the book. Drinking a gallon of whole milk every single day along with my normal calories. Could this shocking introduction of an extra 2400 calories lead to some serious muscle and strength gains or lead to some unwanted consequences? Oh. Let's find out. This is my one week journey. Go mad. But you gotta focus. What's up, Home Slice? So I just got done with a workout, did it street workout style, outdoors, calisthenics, feeling actually really good today. I was moving really well with my body weight. But with that being said, I've been looking a little skinny recently. <sighs> oh yeah. You see that it's non-homogenized? So it's like cr the cream is like on top. Uh, shake it up a little bit. Getting that post-workout milk in right here. Oh, did you see that? That was a freaking chunk of cream. So yeah, that barely put a dent in this gallon. Cheers, folks. Let's get this challenge started. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I hope I'm not lactose intolerant. Honestly, I really don't know to this day. I really don't drink that much milk. Hopefully this goes okay. <sighs> Just thinking that thick, healthy, smooth, bro muscle look. Bottoms up. Good, not great. Unstrategically starting this challenge later in the day on day one, I decided to get another tall glass of whole milk down before a dinner. Oh, a lot of milk. So I'm getting this aftertaste in my mouth. It tastes like a barn smells. I'm gonna take a shower. It is dinner time. Finally some solid food. Ground chicken breast and some white jasmine rice with an avocado chopped up over the top with some diced garlic. Then I have a uh, coleslaw little salad on the side here. So I'll be eating this probably same thing probably like two or three more times tonight. I'm gonna wash down every plate with a nice glass of milk. Oh. Like my dad. Oh. I've seen my dad eat milk with spaghetti before, which seems so gross to me. Yeah, it's, it's meat on meat, kinda. Oh, ugh. I mean, I really need some salad food. Mm. Oh, the irony. I'm gonna be downing this whole thing as we watch reruns of The Biggest Loser. <laughs> I don't know how this is all gonna mix, honestly, but we're gonna do it anyways. So this milk meal combo actually mixed quite well. In fact, it tasted similar to a Thai food or like a spicy, creamy dish, which I actually enjoyed pretty well. And I ended up doing two more plates of this exact same meal for a total of three plates and three tall glasses of milk. One thing to note is I actually felt very satisfied short on, and I think that's due to the milk's high fat content and my body just recognizing all the the extra calories, but I powered through and continued to eat my normal amount of food plus the additional milk. Coming to the end of the night, I realized that the second half of this full gallon was way bigger than I thought, so to help finish off the final bit of whole milk oh, for day one, great. I made it into some whole milk hot chocolate. Now this made it easier to get down, but with the extra sugar in the hot chocolate, this added additional calories, which I am going to justify for sharing a little bit with my wife, but under normal circumstances of go mad, you share with nobody. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's it. Please go down. Oh, fine. Oh. I just put some water in there. Oh. I can't believe I got that down. Whole gallon. I did that in a five hour eating window. No, I'm not even that bad. Guys. All right, good night. See y'all tomorrow. 190.8 at 19.9% body fat today. It's time to get that milk in. No, not yet. Oh man, I'm actually looking kind of ripped. See how long that lasts. Unlike day one on day two, I wanted to spread my milk consumption out throughout the entire day. So starting with four lattes in the morning, followed by a breakfast where I did two servings of cream of buckwheat that required two and a half cups of water or milk. I used my whole milk and I paired this up with another large glass of milk on the side and a chicken breast. Getting that protein in. 
One thing I haven't yet mentioned is the fact that I've been actually flatulating a ton since last night, like a ton. So I might be a little bit lactose intolerant. Just in case before I started this challenge, I did pick up some of these digestive enzymes. It has lactase in there, which is the digestive enzyme for lactose. So it's supposed to help you with the gas and bloating if you are lactose intolerant. So I am going to include one of these in this meal, probably take one here and there as needed throughout the rest of this experiment. Wash that down. Without further ado, let's get into our first actual meal of the day. So my stomach did not hurt by any means. I had no cramping or anything like that, but I was flatulating a ton. So I assumed I might be lactose intolerant and something these lactase pills said they would help with was unnecessary gas due to too much lactose. So I gave it a try. I finished my meal one with my tall glass of milk, worked throughout the day, had a second meal consisting of spicy curry beef meatballs and about a half a cup of rice with some green beans and another tall glass of milk. I have not passed any gas since I took one of these lactase pills, so... Later in the day, going free solo on a glass of milk, and then taking another large glass of milk down with dinner, ground turkey, brown rice, and more green beans, another glass with another plate, drinking the milk like water, and just like that, we were almost done with a whole gallon of whole milk on day two. No excuses. Mm. Alright guys, that's it, day two. Go, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I swear, this thing is full of crap. So it says 190.4 and 19.5% body fat today. I know just because something's giving you numbers you're not expecting or wanting doesn't mean that it's wrong, but I this thing is full of crap. Yeah, this is what we're doing today. Day three, getting at it, starting with four high <laughs> milk lattes followed by two servings of cream of buckwheat that contained two and a half cups of this whole milk. And shortly after, it was time for leg day. So we're at the gym. Um, honestly, feeling kind of tired. So I've got my intro workout right here. And to make it look a little less ominous and a little more cool, I'm actually gonna put it in here. Cause if they're like, yo, you can't bring milk in here, I'm gonna be like, it's spring water. <laughs> oh. Now I did take a lactase pill before this, but my stomach was beginning to feel a little bit uneasy. However, throughout the entire leg workout, I did feel like I had very consistent energy. This could be due to the natural sugar in the milk that was providing me with that quick refueling. However, due to the uneasiness in the stomach, I didn't go too heavy on anything because I didn't want to projectile vomit anywhere. So I kept it to higher reps and tried to feel the squeeze and it actually turned into a decent leg workout. Legs feel pretty pumped. So yeah, I gotta get that post-workout recovery in. Mm. Holy moly, that's so good. Straight to the muscles. Planning on chugging that, but no way, that's way too sugary. One cup is 230 calories. Oh, frick, that's a lot. That is so good, but it is, you can taste the sugar in there. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this slowly on the go right now and maybe save some for later, cause yeah, that's a lot, of, a lot of sugar. So the second half gallon of the day, I chose to use chocolate milk to switch it up, which tasted amazing, don't get me wrong, but I could really feel the extra sugar. And after about halfway through, I was kind of just unsettled overall with the amount of milk and sugar I had just consumed that day. But I was determined to power through, so I was gonna finish this off with dinner. Three of those are supposed to be mine. And I got buns too. And I still have to finish that half gallon of chocolate milk. Planning on taking down three of these burgers. And that I did, taking down the rest of my chocolate milk with my first burger. Oh, I did it! Feeling super gassy and uncomfortable for the next couple of hours. This was a test for the next day I was about to do something that was gonna push this limit beyond. And hopefully get everybody in the holiday spirit. You'll see in a second. Day four weighing in, the weight was up a little bit and the body fat percentage according to the scale was up a little bit. I think this scale is very inaccurate for body fat percentage. Regardless, starting with four lattes. And then time for the holiday surprise. Can't believe I'm about to do this. Oh, it's only 230 calories per half cup. Eight servings, so eight times 230, probably around 2,000 calories. Oh my gosh, that is so thick. Wow, that's really good. Honestly, I'd probably be enjoying that a ton more if I didn't already drink like a third of a gallon of milk. About to hit up the gym, we're doing an arm workout. Let's get that eggnog pump. Oh. I cannot believe you're drinking that right before a workout. No, this is my intro workout. Dude, I feel so tired right now. Sneak, in, sneak the eggnog in the gym. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Mm -hmm. 
drinking a whole carton of this eggnog would be an additional 1800 calories to my already 2400 calories of addition I was drinking of milk. As good as it tasted at first, the taste got old, and I had to resort to these little weenie sips throughout the entire workout. So it smells terrible. What does? That smell coming from your mouth. My breath? Yeah. It smells like the holidays. No, it smells like warm old holidays. <laughs> I didn't really feel extra strong on anything, rather I had a slight stomach discomfort this entire time and I could feel gas building up inside of my body. But being courteous, I held it in and didn't pass any, which led me to feeling absolutely terrible. And a surprising thing on top of this was I felt like I didn't really get that much of a pump, which was crazy to me because of the amount of sugar I was consuming intra-workout in this eggnog. Maybe I looked better than I felt, but I just felt sick. You just look like you ate a ton. <laughs> I had to save the rest of the eggnog for at home, immediately followed by a tall glass of milk chug. There was still so much of this gallon left, and I was already completely melted out. But I powered through glass after glass with my dinner and then trying to get creative with a tea, making like a chai latte, which was disgusting. Nonetheless, focusing hard, staying consistent, got that whole gallon down on top of that eggnog. Oh, sorry about the mess. Today's been pretty rough, honestly. I feel like I've just been in like this milk like fog there is such a thing like the whole day i've had a lot of gas today like a ton of gas i don't know if maybe i should have taken more lactase pills or maybe it was the eggnog it's 11 20 p.m i should probably go to bed on day five my weight was not surprisingly up but according to this scale my body fat percentage was down from the previous day i just think this thing is inaccurate but i did feel dehydrated so maybe that had something to do with it regardless going back to just normal whole milk for these final three days getting that first big glass in in the morning and then followed by another big glass with coffee don't ask me why, but this one-two combo sounded good. Oh yeah, cold hot mix. <laughs> Switching it up today. Uh. Something I feel like that's important I should mention is, do I feel like I'm getting stronger? No. <laughs> I just don't have like that, uh, you know what I mean? I'm hoping it's the strength is gonna come back if I just stay off the nog, you know? I feel like Tim Allen from the Santa Claus where he looks in the mirror and uh, after he just shaved his beard, but he's like super fat still. What I was trying to imply is on day five, I was really feeling the aftermath of the whole carton of eggnog along with the whole gallon of milk. So my plan going forward was just to keep it to the natural whole milk, drinking it along with my meals, as you are supposed to do with Goldman. <sighs> Terrible idea. And then I kind of contradict myself having a huge bowl of cereal with the rest of my whole milk. Probably not the healthiest choice, but hey, it was refreshing and I had to get it in. Is it weird that I'm starting to crave whole milk? That's a one-two punch right there, folks. I kid you not, by day six, I was actually craving whole milk. It sounded refreshing, tasty, and almost comforting. It was going down easy, plain. After a quick workout, making my way through the first half of the whole gallon was a breeze. However, one thing that was really noticeable was throughout this entire week, I wasn't as energetic as normal. One thing I gotta make note of is I feel like I'm getting really used to the milk, but um, after consuming a large amount of it, I usually just get really tired for honestly a couple of hours. Relax. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Maybe there's some kind of chemical compound in milk. After doing some quick research on why the whole milk may have been making me more tired, I found that whole milk is actually one of the largest sources of tryptophan. You may have heard of turkey containing large amounts of tryptophan, which therefore makes you sleepy on Thanksgiving, 
One whole pound of turkey only has about 400 milligrams of tryptophan, whereas just one quart of whole milk has over 700 milligrams of tryptophan. That means I was nearly consuming 3 grams of tryptophan with every gallon of whole milk, which was probably making me a little tired. Just got back from the store and a little surprise in my fridge right here. A homemade fruitcake from my grandma-in-law. Oh yeah. I don't know if you like fruitcake or not, but that... Looks good. Gotta save some for dinner, dang it. With my taste surprisingly getting more and more acquired to whole milk, the rest of this gallon went down with a breeze. The final day checking in with the heaviest weight so far this week, along with a craving for some whole milk. When I first started this experiment, the taste of whole milk was just meh, okay. I thought I would be repulsed by whole milk by the end of this, but no, I was absolutely craving whole milk. Easily taking it down alone and alongside my first couple of meals, this final gallon was no problem. It works. Tell me guys, is it weird that a gallon doesn't even seem that threatening? It doesn't even seem that intimidating to me anymore. I'm gonna probably miss it. So how much weight would I accumulate? Did my muscles grow? How would I look in comparison to the before? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we are about to find out in the one week go mad results. Milk. What's up, Home Slice Lucas here. So did drinking a gallon of milk a day help me put on that healthy weight? Looking at the before and after weigh-in, I put on approximately 6.8 pounds. Something interesting to note was kind of how rapidly my weight went up the last two days, which in my opinion kind of points out the fact that just like losing weight, sometimes gaining weight isn't always linear. Sometimes it sneaks up on you. Now with that being said, I don't think it was 6.8 pounds of muscle nor fat. Probably a lot of it was water weight. Now I know according to what the scale says, apparently my body fat percentage is down 0.8%. You got to keep in mind my weight went up so that affects the percentage, but also I just think the scale is inaccurate. The scale supposedly uses a technique called bioelectrical impedance, which is supposed to measure the rate at which current, electrical current travels through your body from my heels to the little handle I was holding out in front of me. But I've got to be honest guys, I think every single measurement that this thing took was completely inaccurate, especially that beginning one. It says I'm 20.5% body fat. What? I mean, I don't know, you tell me, do you think I was actually 20.5% body fat to begin this? <laughs> Maybe, dang. But I do think the weight measurement was accurate, though it matched my other scale upstairs. So for full comparison, I'm gonna leave all that data in this video, but I'm just gonna go with my actual weight compared to the after visual. So let's take a look at the before and after. So I do actually look thicker all around in the upper body. Hey, it looks like we put on some of that thickness we were working for, but at the same time, Overall, I feel like I look softer. As to be expected though, with 6.8 pounds in one week, you know, drinking a gallon of whole milk, yeah. So a few interesting things I wanna note, first of all, was how I actually acquired a taste for whole milk, especially with my meals towards the end of this. That's something I didn't think would have happened. You know, early on, I always thought drinking milk with a meal was kind of gross, but oh my gosh, like now I'm actually craving it and I'm 48 hours into recovery. Another thing I wanna point out is when I actually started to really feel crappy during this experiment, it was was mostly after the chocolate milk consumption and the eggnog consumption and I think most of the other times throughout the experiment when I was just drinking whole milk I actually felt okay however throughout the whole entire experiment I felt this super relaxed tired feeling well first of all I think a lot of that has to do with just eating a calorie surplus you know sometimes when you eat a lot of food a lot of calories you're just kind of tired but also something I pointed out in my research was that whole milk actually contains a lot of tryptophan that amino acid that based on studies one gram plus can actually help you with sleep well I'm drinking three grams about a day so I felt like maybe that was actually making me really relaxed and just kind of calm and chilled out throughout the day now the problem with that with the all the calorie surplus and maybe the tryptophan and me being tired was that I just didn't feel like training as intensely as before doing this experiment which is a huge reason for me that I'm gonna say I do not recommend myself 
doing GOMAD for gaining weight because of that decreased intensity and just feeling a little bit too tired. So rather than drinking a whole gallon of milk a day going forward, what I'm planning to do is do a recovery week from doing this GOMAD and I'm gonna make a follow-up video on that hopefully coming next week showing what I'm doing to get this weight back off and hopefully look maybe even better than when I started. That's what I hope. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see in a week. But something I do want to mention is I'm not gonna cut milk out totally going forward at least in a couple of days or so. I might actually use a glass of milk before bed not a whole gallon but maybe just a tall glass because I really did feel like it gave me a relaxed feeling which might help me with sleep that's one more thing is I felt like my sleep this last week was actually really good so that's a good side. If you guys are interested in my bodyweight training program, Bodyweight Beast 2.0, go to OnlyKindsFitness.com. Use code FOCUS at the checkout. Get $5 off now through the end of this year. Heck, maybe I'll even make it through January. We'll see based on the feedback. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. More challenges coming out. More videos coming out. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.